But then you got guys talking about, uh, Chopper Time with Paul. He mad because that woman that was cooking up chicken, why ain't broke up with him? What up, guys? This is one and only Travel Time with Paul. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video. I would, like to, I would like to thank all my new subscribers that subscribed to me in the last few days or the last week or so. Thank you guys very much. I want to give a mini monologue. Now, I want to let you guys know that this is not a drama video and this is not, a, I mean, this is not a drama channel. And this is not a channel where I'm going to just go around beefing with other YouTubes. But I must say, I'll be dropping two videos tonight. If I don't drop the other video tonight, I'll be dropping it tomorrow. And there's going to be a response. I won't say the guy's name just yet, but he'll know who I'm talking about once I drop the video or whatever. It will probably be my last response video regarding all this fiasco that happened last weekend or whatever behind Tricky Mac. So for all my guys that came to subscribe to see the drama, this is not this is not what this channel is for. This channel is just to inform you guys on how to be very calculated when you go to these new countries. And the grass is not always greener on the other side. You can travel to the DR, Colombia, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Thailand, Philippines, Japan, without trying to uh, diss the women in the matrix. Now, like I said, it I got my I got my issue with the women in the matrix too. But since I've been traveling abroad, I realize women can be women anywhere. It just depends on their culture, their upbringing, and their religion. But women nature is women nature when it comes to how pergamy. It just in some country how pergamy is worse than it is in other countries. But uh, that's what this channel is about. This is not another channel. Going to other countries uh, looking for us a so-called submissive woman selling you guys on that now that's what the channel was gonna start on because everybody else was doing it like if you go look at some of my shorts my i did some shorts because that's the direction i was heading i was gonna be one of the i was going to be one of these fake youtubers having a top woman in the video talking about how she cooks she clean and she do all this good stuff but then man i thought about it and i said man I don't want guys to end up like how I almost ended up and like how a lot of, a, a lot of the trials of tribulation and a lot of the guys are going through right now that's in Thailand, Philippines, Colombia, and etc. Uh, they live the lonely, miserable lifestyle in the matrix, but then they go to these other countries and they think things just going to uh, get a whole lot better for them when, it, when it's actually getting worse. It's like when you sober, you miserable, you at your worst, but the minute you pick up that bottle of Hennessy and hit and to pick up that blunt, you happy for a little while it numbs the pain temporary but then once you once you sober again reality kicks in and it's worse than it was before you picked up that bottle of Hennessy or that tequila so that's what i'm trying to inform guys now i haven't had my heart broken in thailand especially no damn pot y'all now let's get let's set the record straight these butt hurt thai fan boys and these dudes they want to put asian women on the pedestal so hard keep thinking that a woman broke my heart in thailand if a damn woman broke my heart in pot then something wrong with me. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. For everybody that keeps saying that the woman that was in the video with me and Austin and Kate, they said I'm butt hurt and I'm bitter because she broke my heart. First of all, I barely even knew that woman. That's why the energy was off in the video. Second, I told Austin I got better looking women that we can put in the video that can that can uh be in the video with us while I'm showing you, giving you a tour around the condo. I didn't want to use her because I wasn't feeling her energy and I didn't think she was the right fit. But uh since she was already there, we went ahead and went with her. Everything was done at last minute. That's why the condo was dirty. That's why, hell, I wouldn't even dress properly. I would dress like I was just having a good day sitting at the house on the Super Bowl Sunday watching the cow Cowboys getting their ass whooped. That's how I was looking in the video. So mentally, I wasn't prepared for it. Physically, I wasn't prepared for it. So that's why the video went the way it went. But then you got these dudes thinking, a Thai woman broke my heart. Everybody know women go from man to man like money being swapped from hand to hand in Pattaya. So when you in a place like Pattaya, you let's just say you have a whole lot of them in rotation. You don't settle down with one. You will be you will be a damn fool if you do that. And that's one of the reasons I got out of Pattaya. My last few months living in Thailand, I moved to Shane Rai. And the, and the woman I keep telling you guys about that made the homemade soup for me, she wasn't from Pattaya. I actually met her living in Shane Rai. I met her at one of the stores there. That's how we end up linking up. The woman didn't even know how to speak a, li a lick of English, but she was learning when me and her got together or whatever. I had to take my phone out and translate with this woman, the one I was talking about in Shane Rye. When I say a Thai woman made soup for me, I was not talking about the one in uh, Austin Harlem video. But then you got guys talking about, uh, Chopper Time with Paul. He mad because that woman that was cooking up chicken, why ain't broke up with him? If you guys really believe that, y'all some idiot. 
Then you got this down low brother who can't go who can't go back to Thailand because his, uh, his the, the lady he was talking to that lived in Atlanta, Georgia, took fifteen thousand dollars out his out of his account, and we're gonna talk about that in the next video. But she took fifteen thousand dollars out out of his account or whatever, so now he's broke, rock bottom, and he can't return back to the country. He was supposed to have had a more time fight this money in Thailand, but he's stuck in ATL, Georgia, so he's in his feelings because his daddy, uh, travel ho travel ho OG got cooked. Last weekend on the live, so he's going to everybody live trying to do a press run, trying to dirty up my name, talking about I'm mad because my uncle won't leave Thailand when that's far from the damn truth. And then he he also going around saying, uh, Travel Ho OG, aka Doom in Thailand, scheme my uncle out of a consultation. Now, guys, come on, let's do the math. If my uncle been in Thailand since 2008, and you could go to my guys, don't bring your heart to Party Up Part 9 and confirm I said this. Why, why in the hell would he need a consultation from Doom to Thailand when Doom to Thailand didn't get to Thailand until like 2017 or 2019 or something like that? Pre-pandemic. My uncle didn't even know. Doom, my uncle doesn't even know Doom to Thailand. He doesn't even know dude he even got a YouTube channel. But you got this overgrown 45 plus down low. I mean, sweet and cinnamon ass dude going around. He, Paul uncle, Paul uncle. He mad because Doom to Thailand took his money. First of all, Dude in Thailand could have been getting a consultation from my uncle, and maybe he wouldn't be with the woman he's with right now getting schemed for 30,000 bucks a month. So if you're gonna tell a lie, have some receipts, cause you ain't got no receipts. And if anybody believe in anything you say, that's because they mad because they dad, they daddy doom in Thailand got cooked, sauteed, barbecued, deep fried all in one weekend. So, but I digress. Now we're gonna get into the topic of the video. The topic of this video is guys, don't bring your heart to Patia Part 10. Now, I want to say something before I get into this video, too. It's related to this video. When I was in Thailand, I, I used to hear a lot of guys at the bars talking, black and white guys, but mostly black guys, because that's, that's who I hung around most of the time. I once heard a guy say his pussy, his uh, peace sleeve bill in Thailand was $1,200 a month. That's how much he spent on freelance. And, and I, not, 12, not 1200 bucks a month, 1200 US dollars a month. And I got to thinking to myself, like, damn. That's how somebody would be paying the child support for their kid back home. I mean, I understand you, you benefit from the woman, but that's a lot of money to be spending in Thailand. So I pulled him to the side. But before I pulled him to the side, he said something that caught my attention. And then I realized a lot of the, these guys use that same talking point. He said a moment before he got into the topic of he paid $1,200 a month for his peace sleeve bill in Thailand. He got a child back in Baltimore, Maryland, that uh his black baby moms is receiving eight hundred dollars in child support for and he sees the child whenever he goes back anytime he wants to but because he can't stand the mother of his child he dread the fact that he got to pay this woman eight hundred dollars a month but then it's a and then he talked bad about her to a stranger at a bar to a, a guy from uh great britain that he even that he didn't even know from a can of paint just telling all his business so then he can't he he, he then that's when he said yeah my my uh peace lead bill is twelve hundred dollars a month and he said it like he had no problem paying it. But then he got to talking about how the women been doing him wrong. How woman, how one Thai woman even stole from him. When she came over to spend the night, he went to sleep and she went in his pocket and stole stole a couple of debit cards and, uh, and the rest of his uh, money he had left in his pocket or whatever. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, these same black... Now, let me say this. If I had a channel passion, dissing black American women, my channel would be a whole lot of bigger, it'll be a whole lot larger than what it is right now. I have more subscribers. I I have a lot of people in the comment section. Yeah, you right. That's why I got my passport. Hell, I can't stand black women. They gonna be mad at us. First of all, how in the hell any American woman gonna be mad at you from getting your passport if you didn't put it all on YouTube, if you didn't post it all online, if you didn't go get these whack passport bro tattoos, and this ain't no diss to the passport bro. I'm talking about that one fella who got the passport bro tattoo on his arm that look fruity as hell, talking about black women gonna be mad when they see this. First of all, they didn't even know you exist, and, and this ain't taking off for black women, so don't get it, Mr. Screw. They didn't even know you exist. So, it's like you trying to it's like you trying to use reverse psychology to make them mad to get it to where they're gonna be like, oh man, too many brothers leaving. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead on this and become submissive, D. It's like that's how y'all that it's, it's like that's what y'all trying to get them to do when y'all post all this shit online. See, I got my passport back in 2005 and 19. 
I went out of the country for the first time in 2006 to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, because I got family living over there that's been living over there since 2005. Never did I once get online. I got my passport. They gonna be mad when they see this. I didn't give a damn how they felt. I just went ahead on about my business and enjoyed my life in another country. And even much crap I talk about the women in Thailand, the, the basically the bottom feed, because this doesn't apply to every woman in Thailand. You don't never hear me get on there saying, I got my passport to make women in the matrix mad. I don't give a damn what women, women in the matrix is thinking right now. You know why? Because when I was in another country, I didn't even watch what was going on in the matrix news because I didn't care. I wanted to have a good time and hang out with the locals and enjoy eating the food or going to the beach every day, going up to the mountains or hanging out with the, the, the tigers and the monkeys and all that good shit. Last thing that was on my mind was, was the woman in the matrix and, and all that good shit. But I digress. So let me get to let me get back to the topic of the story. So I heard this guy say he didn't want to pay this eight hundred dollars a month for his child, but he was happy with paying twelve hundred dollars a month for this uh for this for his peace leave bill. Then I also heard another guy on somebody live or whatever. I also heard another guy on somebody live the other uh, night or whatever. This man said he went to Thailand right, and he had two Thai women. He let one of them go because she was dark. He didn't like the fact because she was dark. He wanted a, a lighter, slimmer Thai woman. Somebody asked him, but why? He said, well, I'm a dark skin man. The lighter skin, skinny Thai woman, make, she makes me look good because of my dark skin. I said to myself, damn, I don't believe in using the term self-hatred, but if that ain't the most self-hating shit I ever heard in a long time. But y'all would be surprised. That's how a lot of these guys think that's going to these Asian countries and some Latin countries. They don't want to go to Africa which is a continent. Africa got like 50 plus uh, countries in it. Like Austin Holloman is in Africa right now. And the whole time he was in the Philippines and, and Vietnam and uh, Cambodia, got, guys was coming talking all positive on his channel. You gonna be happy to get you an Asian queen. They love us. And what's up with all this shit black men think when we go to these countries that cause the women automatic could quote rap lyrics and they, they, they say, what up bro? And they want to be with a black man, which they really don't. They just want the money. I was just going to be honest. I know them women didn't want to be with me like that. They don't want to be with none of us like that. Because if they had a choice and they men were choosing them like that, they wouldn't even talk to us in these countries. That's why I'm to the point where I'm finna stop going to places where I'm not wanted. And then you got these brothers. They keep hollering, Thailand the safest countries. Actually, you got African countries way more safer than uh, Thailand. And the women look way better. Is this what you're going for? And the women in these African countries really are more submissive. Thai women are not submissive at all, buddy. They cooperative, but they ain't submissive. They getting paid to so-called be submissive. They're not submissive. They're not submissive at all. And uh, y'all guys, it's okay to date outside of your race. There ain't nothing wrong with interracial dating. Hell, I do it. But I'm not finna put that. I'm not about to put that woman on a pedestal and make make her say like she better than my women because I'm not getting along with my women right now. in My country doesn't give me a right to go to Thailand and the Philippines. You better than our black women back home. You cook, you clean, you ain't afraid to pick up the broom. Man, I'm not finna do that shit. Cause then she gonna look at me as a clown and could think she could double down on playing me cause I'm putting her on the pedestal. I don't give a damn if you go to Venus. Do not put, if they had women there, do not put them up on the pedestal. That's a no-no, that's, that's bullshit. Don't put no woman on the pedestal because then you're making that woman think she better than you and you adding more value to her. That's like when these guys in the comment section be talking about, what's wrong with paying? Ain't nothing wrong with tricky. So you let me know right now that that woman has more value than you. No one should think like that. When, when me and that woman get intimate, I'm bringing pleasure to the table too. She having orgasm just like I'm having orgasm. If, if, if anything, we should be paying each other. Why I should be the only one paying? That ain't right. Cause she getting pleasure out of it too. I'm not, I'm not throwing, but then you saying you buy pleasure. I ain't, I ain't both of us getting pleased. I'm pleasing her and she pleasing me. And I tell her guys, I don't have nothing against tricking. Do what you want to do. My only issue was the YouTuber that kept going around that really was with women that they got on payroll, which really glorified tricking. Selling these guys lies that you could go over there and get a submissive woman when they should have just told the truth. Guys, I'm doing what I'm doing. I found a woman out of massage parlor and got her on payroll that was an ex freelance. If that ain't what you looking for, then don't come over here looking for it. Get you a woman from, from the province. Hell, you could go to Bangkok and find a woman that ain't no freelance and you can have a successful relationship with her. Versus if you just went to Pattaya, but these guys just want y'all. Uh, I, I spoke to one fella, another YouTuber, a smaller YouTuber. He said he, he actually bought a consultation from one of the YouTubers in Thailand. And he said he paid $175 for the consultation. 
all for the guy to tell him nothing that he didn't already know. Now he told the guy that he wasn't into pay for play. We well, have to worry about that if he comes to Patia. That guy started beating around the bushes, started uh, fumbling with his word. Uh, I mean, nah, you can get a woman for free without pay for play. Man, that's bullshit. Most of the women there is pay for play. Just because they don't charge you the first few times don't mean they don't expect money from you. They just expecting you to just up and give it to them. And then eventually, if they bold enough, they'll come with the my family back in Esau or back in Shane Rye or back in uh, Southern Thailand need a buffalo. We've been starving for two weeks. We, we need a flock of brand new chickens because the chickens we got now ain't been having eggs. Could you help us out by giving us 100,000 bots? It's coming eventually. Just stay with them long enough. And if anybody let a woman in Patea break their heart, that's because they ain't been touched with by a woman in 20 years and they just that damn desperate. But you would be surprised you got a million men get their heart broke by women in Patea, by bar girls, by, by women in Patea every damn day. It just happened. Now, back to the guy, back to that, back to the guys that be talking about Thai women love us. First of all, fella, you shouldn't think no woman outside of your race love you. You gotta remember, because porn them got real popular. They, they lust you. It's the difference between them loving you and lusting after you. I don't want a woman to lust me and fetishize me. I'm not that damn happy to have no damn with JJ that I'm happy that a woman fetishize me because she assume I got a big penis. So she want to see what it do in the bedroom. I'm ready for that woman to just genuine love me for who I am. And that's me being a man. But the problem is a lot of y'all desperate at, desperate ass Negroes so happy to go to these countries. The, the women in the DR love us. The women in Philippines love us. The women in Japan, they love us. No, they don't, don't none of us, don't none of them love us. But that's not saying you can't find a woman that, that will genuinely love you for who you are because you taking care of your business as, as a man and she see you held, held in masculine frame and you got a backbone and you ain't just no guy that she can uh, get over on and be a pushover. <coughs> Cause Thai women ain't dumb either. Y'all think because American women got a reputation of getting over on you, taking your money on via OnlyFans and just uh, taking your money in the kind of way they can. Actually, American women really ain't got no game like these Asian women in Southeast Asia. These uh, women in the Southeast Asia got the best damn game. Cause see, a lot of y'all guys so damn simple. All uh, she gotta do is cook a plate of fried rice with some chopped up cucumbers laying next to it. Y'all get on Facebook posting it. She love me, a black woman and ain't never did this for me back in the matrix. I know she love me for me. She cooked for me and later on she gonna cook some damn uh, green curry for me. I ain't never had that before. So, I know they used to say the best way to a man's heart is to his stomach, but I, I, I really thought that was a myth. I, I never thought all you had to do was go to a damn Southeast Asian country and the woman you met at 808 could cook you a damn pot of collard greens that you don't tell her how to cook now you in love where she could get online and cook uh crumpy hot wings memphis style because you taught her how to cook it now you feel like you got you a winner when you when you met her at the wrong place at the wrong time i'm here to tell you guys that ain't been over but that ain't been to thailand yet it's best that you go there to just have fun let's call it what it is don't go there to really look for a damn woman to be your wife unless unless you plan on living over there for longer than a few months if you plan on retiring over there and you plan on being over there at least six or seven months, then it would make sense to find a good woman that ain't got a lot of baggage, that ain't under a lot of pressure by her family, that send money back home. They're the best ones to go after because I'm here to tell you. Y'all want to know, how do you know so much about Thailand when you only been over there for six months? Well, I'm going to tell you, I really didn't get a spinoff and I'm damn sure going to cover everything in that video that I'm dropping later today about this clown. I won't mention his name right now in this video, but it's coming, buddy. You made your bed, now you about to sleep in it. One thing I always tell y'all, never throw stones better yet boulders if you living in a glass house that's sitting on quicksand. But I digress, make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm out, one.